Hi everybody, uh, my name is Tina and if you saw my previous video you would have seen that I um, was participating in a, in a Traveler's uh, Notebook collaboration hosted by Tina at Tell Him Thank You. Um, in that video you would have seen that I had made my own fabric Traveler's Notebook and then I showed uh, my bag full of supplies that I would be using, you know, in you know, for all my journal entries in the notebook. Um, so anyway, um, in the last week or so, um, I find that every time I go to the store, doesn't matter if it's the grocery store or the lumber store, or it doesn't matter. I always seem to find something that I can use in my traveler's notebook. So um, I've accumulated a few things and and then found I needed a bigger bag. <laughs> so this is it. This is, if you can see, uh, it's a Pierre Cardin. Cardin? I don't know how you say it, something like that. But anyway, um, I don't know. I imagine I picked this up somewhere used. I can't even remember. You know, I, I like to go garage sailing and estate sailing during the weekends. Me and my son go together. And and um, so anyway, uh, this is what I have. And it's like a it's like a carpet bag. It reminds me of a carpet bag. And, and um, from there, it reminds me of the one that Mary Poppins used to carry around in, in the movie. So... So then that prompted me to make um, a charm, a new charm for my dangle here. And here it is, if I can show it up close. I hope that shows up good, pretty good anyway. See, it's Mary Poppins flying around with her umbrella and carpet bag. Okay, and, and I liked the comparison. I mean, I liked when I thought about it that it was her little bag of magic tricks so to speak and and so I kind of like that idea that you know this is my little bag of magic so to speak and I have all my goodies in there and and um, can create whatever I want and so it's kind of a fun comparison and so I made that charm and it's made from just a picture and small picture I had to I had to decrease the size of it and then um, I glued it onto the or mod podged it onto the back of a an old eyeglass lens and um, from the back after I did that I let dry and then I used what was it um, diamond glaze I think it was I used that to just coat the back so just give it a, 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 a shiny you know finished look to it um, so I, I thought that was really cute to, to add to that little charmed angle um, it's just fun so anyway there's the bag. Um, you can see it good. Um, it's got lots more room. Um, and I'll show you from there the things that, you know, prompted me to buy a bigger bag. Um, first of all, I don't think last week I even showed you. Um, I, I do use washies, but, you know, not often, but I'll show you what I have. Not that many, but here's one that has little banners across it. So that's cute. And I can write on those banners whatever I want, whatever small words or whatever. So that's kind of useful. I can imagine I can use that for all kinds of things. Here's one with donuts. And I can't remember where I got these. I don't remember. Some might be from the dollar store and I don't know. Some I ordered online. There's one with little coffee cups. Uh, all the little coffee cups have faces. I don't know if you can see that good, but there you go. This one had feathers. Now I know I got that one from the Dollar Tree and I thought that was cute. Alright. This one is flowers. I know I got this one from the Dollar Tree too. Kind of a retro almost look about it but I thought that was cute it's kind of a navy with all different color flowers on top so there's that and then this one I think I ordered online somewhere but there it is it's all kind of modes of transportation it's cars and trucks and tractors and all that kind of stuff so I just thought that was cute 
you know, going with the theme. Mine is, is a traveler's notebook. I, I'm using it for the purpose of, of recording my travels um, in, in a car. I just got a new car, so, well, so to speak. It's a used car, but it's new to me. All right, so anyway, there's that. Um, I showed you the colored pencils I had last week, but this week um, I found a container to put them in. <laughs> it's a little metal container that I found at a yard sale, but I thought it was so appropriate because you look at it, and um, I'm not real familiar with Eloise, but she's a little storybook character, and um, they show her here doing her artwork with her little puggy dog. I just thought that was cute. I said, oh my gosh, that's perfect. I could put all my little colored pencils in there. Um, I've got it filled right up, of course. i got maybe room for a few more if there's some particular color and whatever I want to put in there. So, But there we go. They're kind of better protected than in the, the cardboard box they were in. Um, I picked a couple stamps up. There's a camera. And there's this one here, which is enjoy the journey and then a, a suitcase and I got those these are two separate little stamps but um anyway I got those both of these from Michaels um, all right the next thing I got gosh I think these were from Michaels these are just um little stick on labels but I thought they'd be cute for um uh what do you call them journal spots and um you know, they're just the right color. They kind of match my my notebook pretty well. So I grabbed those. Those were just a couple bucks. I, I don't remember how many is in there. 40 pieces. 40. That's pretty good. I picked up a set of these because I just think they're cute and they're so colorful. And, and um, every time that me and my son or or whoever, you know, I go with, we, we will go up to the estate sales or the garage, garage sales or yard sales. And, and, and when I journal it in my traveler's notebook, I kind of use these to, um, to edge the page or to, you know, sporadically paste them on the page, whatever. But, you know, I just thought they were a cute little addition seeing is that what's that's what we did for the day so got those I bought a couple pages of these um, I thought they were so cute and it wasn't until I got home that I realized in the right light they sparkle <laughs> so I that was cute um, I just love I love birds so I hmm I think I picked these up at Target that's a little watercolor set just a small it's, it looks like a CD case and I thought, oh, that's, you know, just big enough for me. And, and um, you know, will fit in nicely. It won't take up a lot of space in the bag. And, um, and it'll be fun to work with, you know, whenever. But there we go. Um, I picked up a few more post-its because, yeah, I really need more of those. So, anyway, there's Cupcake. And I think I got these from Staples. I'm not sure. I think that's where I got them. Or was it Office Max? I don't remember. One of those. So there's the cupcake. thought that was really cute. There's another coffee mug with a donut. You get two. You get the, the one design and the other. And then you get the little emoji faces, which was, you get four different designs. Um, the wink, the uh, lovey-dovey one. The big smile and the laughing out loud one, I guess, right? So really cute. I like those. And let's see. And then um, one last thing I got, which I thought, oh my gosh, I almost walked out of this one yard sale. And I was on my way out, picked up some little thing or something, and one was on my way out. And just as I was leaving, I caught this thing hanging on a on some I don't display she had and it had a big long chain it was really supposed to be a purse but I'm not using it as that um, here it is look at the little gorgeous girl oh my gosh did that catch my eye and um, so I took off the big long chain that was on it it's supposed to be a purse but I'm like no nope. I'm gonna use it in my travelers bag and what I am putting in there is, if you remember, the large stamps I couldn't put in the other bag because they, they were too big to fit. So I'm putting them in there. 
I put in some, you know, extra papers, you know, that I might use. If you remember, I had some of that in my traveler's notebook. And, um, hmm. Let me see. Yeah, just little, just little extra papers I might throw in there um, as I'm like kind of scrapping through the pages. Um, but it's just the right size. And then instead of throwing this, my actual traveler's notebook, into a plastic bag that now fits in this bag just perfect um and i just have to you know it's protected from everything that's in the big bag so, all right so here's my traveler's notebook again for those who didn't see the first video yes so there we are um my first entry is about um how i, I just recently bought myself a car a nicer car um and uh, and there it is, you know. So this was right. This was timely. This whole event was timely because I had just gotten my car, and I thought, oh my gosh, this would be just perfect to to, to keep journal entries about where I've gone in my new car, and and uh, where me and my family went, and you know, um, you know, big or small, whatever. It was just I, I thought that would be fun and um, something my son can look back on someday maybe and. Um, so anyway, there's that, and then being this is kind of a traveler's theme, on the front a cover, I put, um, if you can see, I don't know, well, it basically it's the lyrics to the song called The River by Garth Brooks. Next page, um, I, oh, I made this on a two-page, or a two-pocket folder. Um, I'll try to include that in the description if I can find the, the uh, link. Um, but anyway, it's just a little paper I took a you know 12 by 12 piece of paper or something and and that's why I keep a couple of little extra papers in there there's my clip I made um, um, and you know I just um, oh here was another um, song lyric I put in there I love music um, this was unwritten by Natasha Bedingfield there's my son with the car he's helped me cleaning out that day when we first brought it home um, one of my first outings I, I wrote about anyway with it was um, it was National Donut Day on June 2nd. So me and my son made the trip to Dunkin' Donuts and, and so I wrote about that. And then uh, then uh, I think it was maybe the following weekend we went garage sailing. There was a big village-wide garage sale and we went to that and met my family over there. And, and uh, that was a good day. So I wrote about that. Um, I put a map as the background on the page and then I used those those stickers I showed you right along here was just makes it colorful doesn't it and you know it's appropriate um, let me see the next pages are just kind of mostly journaling um, you know personal stuff nothing real big but just personal where we where we went one day or another and and um, as you can see here on Wednesday let me see um, I had to pick up some stuff at Walmart's and um, while I was there, I couldn't resist. I, you know, all the all the rage right now is is um, are these little uh, fidget spinners, and so I saw them right in front of me, and I couldn't resist, and I bought one. So, <laughs> so I put that on there and showed that. Um, sometime after that, I, I went and got my nails done. I hope you can see this good. I'm trying to keep on frame, everybody. So anyway, that was, uh, it's been a long time since I got them done. So it was nice. It was nice to have them done. I feel like a girl again, you know. So I, it was, it was nice. I, um, that was just something I felt like writing about in there, putting that in there. Um, another day we all went out to, um, uh, to dinner and, and, um, uh, it was a, you know, we just got your basic, it was a little Irish pub of sorts, and, and a really cute little place, and anyway, we, um, I wrote about that, and, let me see, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I included the menu, um, the, um, I took a menu home and <laughs> included that, and then the front page, you know, little logo I put on there, and journaled about it a little bit, um, let me see, um, this day I put, I uh, used bunny, bunny washi tape and I had to write about how I had to quick like a bunny get over to um, make my my uh, car insurance payment <laughs> don't want to be late with that so anyway um, then I wrote here how we went to this um, this uh, event they were having uh, 
not too far from us, but anyway, it was, it was, um, it was called a petapalooza, and it was all a, all about um, pet adoption, and and uh, there was just animals everywhere, dogs, cats, and everything of all sizes, you know, and shapes, and and uh, we just had fun walking around and and checking that out. So there's that, and that's that's it for now. But that's. Um, that's what I've done so far. At least I feel caught up. And by the next time, when it's going to be episode three, um, I'll feel caught up and should be able to get that out on time <laughs> with everybody else. Um, one more thing that I added to this was I made um, little envelope pockets. See, you can, on both sides. Um, I basically just took an envelope, one envelope, put the the um, the open corner.